it's indeed difficult to imagine the kinds of problems that Sadar Vallabhai Patel was facing at that time due to various reasons. Small states cannot subsist as independent entities any longer without endangering Indian unity. We are trying to achieve national unity in a manner that the world will say that you are inheritors of the ancient civilization and are true to the real traditions of chivalry of Rajasthan. You have to remember that you are born in a country which has produced a great saint like Gandhiji whose lifelong mission it was to plead for and espouse the cause of the weak, the downtrodder and the outcast. People and rulers must think of carving out a kingdom for themselves. It is to Gandhiji that we all owe our freedom. For the unspeakable tragedy of his murder, we have all to bear the responsibility. Alwar also shares the blame. Why the people of Alwar, sleeping when a person in the garb of a saint was distributing leaflets which asked for Gandhiji's death in a most brutal and criminal fashion. Freedom was not won by the sword and will not be protected by guns alone. Guns can protect freedom from aggressive designs of neighbors or other foreign states. But internally it is the honest core of the people and the true realization of responsibilities of a free citizen that alone can save freedom from mechanizations of self-seeking and in how can we say that we have achieved real freedom such freedom can be achieved only when we realize Gandhiji's dream of Ram Raj unlike what was in the past the might of India is not now concentrated in Rujat Rajputana alone the army is no longer the monopoly of the so-called military castes, persons of all provinces and castes have now shared a defense abilities also. The rulers must understand that now they have a different environment. Their relations with people are those of father and children. They must zealously safeguard the interests of the people whose welfare must be their primary concern. In the context of the present conditions, it is imperative and it implies that they must stand out as constitution to them and speaking the truth. Small states cannot now subsist as they did in the past. They have also to realize that destiny in the present scheme of things is in the country. They can only play their true and honored part by merging themselves in the bigger and more sizable entities. The watchword of India should be unity. India has made tremendous sacrifice for freedom. Up. We hope Malwa and Buland Khan's rulers will also follow suit. If all this can happen within five or six months of India's attaining freedom, Rajasthan too must march with the times. Those who are still dreaming of establishing a Rajput hegemony are clearly out of tune with the present trend of events. It is the duty of majority community to protect minority whose interests. It is incumbent on them, therefore, to protect the Muslims in India. 
the need for unity is great do not create dissensions among praja mandal workers dissensions <coughs> do no good to anybody unity in the conduct of administration is essential in every state more particularly is it necessary in it has yet to breathe the air of freedom gandhi ji's message of removal of untouchability has still to find an echo in every rajput's heart